A motor has coils with a resistance of 26 ohms and operates from a voltage of 236 volts. When the motor is operating at its maximum speed, the back EMF is 150 volts. A. Find the current in the coils when the motor is first turned on. B. Find the current in the coils when the motor has reached maximum speed. And C. If the current in the motor were 5 amps at some instant, what is the back EMF at that time? So the net voltage, or the net EMF, if you will, is equal to the EMF minus the back EMF. And the current is equal to the net voltage divided by the resistance, which is equal to the EMF minus the back, the back EMF divided by the resistance. Now when the, uh, so first understanding what causes back EMF. Current moving through a wire induces a magnetic field that causes another current to go back in the opposite direction, a, a much smaller current. And so if there is no current going through the wire, there is no back EMF. So right, when the, right whenever a motor is initially started, the back EMF is zero. And all of the EMF is equal to the max EMF. The net voltage is equal to the maximum voltage. And so whenever it's first started, the current is equal to the EMF minus zero, the max EMF minus zero, divided by the resistance. And so you plug your numbers in there, or the, my numbers in it, uh, rather. The initial uh, current that I get is 9.076. And then whenever, the, whenever it's at its maximum speed, I have my maximum back EMF. And so the, the back EMF, it tells me, is 150. So I would do 236 minus 150 to find the net voltage. The net voltage in that case would be, uh, would be 86. When I divide that by the resistance that I have of uh, been given in the problem of 36, I would get for part two that my, my current is 3.307 amps. And then it says if the current at some time were 5 amps, so if the current sometime were 5 amps, so I equals 5, what is the back EMF at that time? So my EMF, so I have I equals EMF minus, minus back EMF, divided by R. And so if I multiply, if I just solve for back EMF, I, I would get that, uh, that I times R minus EMF equals back EMF. And it tells me that my current at some time is 5. I know my resistance is 26. I know my maximum EMF is 236. And so I can solve for the back EMF at that time. I get 106 volts of back EMF for my answer. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.